What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video. Basically, long story short, I just simply don't have the time to edit the videos. Like, I have time to film and everything. That really doesn't take time. But I just don't have the time to edit the videos because, I mean, I literally, I'm always busy. But a couple things that have happened since... Uh, since the last video basically well to begin with the 350 is now barney purple as hell and there's also another little thing that i just added this week but i'm gonna touch on that in a little bit but i have a new tow rig and it is a big oh. van to me it is the sickest thing i've ever had like ever open it up This thing is so sick, but man, has it been a headache. Oh my God. It has, it's the 7.3 power stroke. So basically once you get it right, it's never gonna die as long as you maintain it properly. But this is the inside of it. Insane amounts of room. I, the bench right there was back here. I didn't like it being back here. I like to have all this area open and available for like tires and whatnot. Um, so I put it right there and it's perfect. You know, you can fully lay down in it. This is my hotel whenever I go out of state. So this is exactly where I sleep. I set up the air mattress like right there. The tires laid out right here to where it goes over the wheel hump. And you know, the goods, the goods. I've slowly been working to get it back right. It's running good, but the thing is, is that whenever it gets hot, it does not like to start again. I'm thinking that the injectors aren't sealing properly. Uh, one thing that y'all notice is that's a different door. Well, really, they're both different. It's a E350, not an E250. Whenever I got it, the spare tire was mounted on the back of the door. Well, someone hit it, and it pushed the bracket directly into right here, which made it to where it broke all of this on the old doors, and then, like, it was broken right there, so I just said, screw it. Got a new door. Uh... Still got the Civic, still got the truck. Those are really, well, honestly, those two are my dad's now. So, yeah, on to the 350Z. This thing has been through hell and back, man. I could not express to you how much I have put this car through. Fun fact, that's actually a new door right there. Uh, I've never had any problems you know crushing doors or anything but i was at a coda demo event for lone star drift and aaron's mustang crushed the door before this one that was as soon as this year started his mustang crushed the door um uh, and then immediately after that event i got this door which was a new door and then it got crushed by another mustang uh, but it, I mean, it's part of drifting, you know, not to say they were bad drivers of any sort. They killed it. I suck and hit them, to be honest. <laughs> All this right here was not here before. Actually, it was like super pushed in right here from riding a barrier. Basically, I hit like three separate barriers all in a straight line, you know, going out of a sweeper. And that is the damage that it got, but I just, you know, banged it out. But I also, I have brand new over fenders that is going to take up all this and get rid of it. And it's going to be all clean again. I just got to get two inch spacers for the rear. And then it's it should sit, you know, perfectly flush like it does now. I put over fenders on the front. These are just some eBay Rocket Bunny uh, over fenders. They're insanely brittle everywhere. Not very good, but I mean, they work because with wise fab uh the front tires stick out insanely far and whenever you have stock fenders all it would do is just crush them non-stop so i just decided to put over fenders on it what else what else what else as you can see the paint is like super faded because it's just rattle can and like that's all you got to do and it comes back but it's rattle can i never clear coated over it i just didn't really feel like messing with it um i'm gonna get a new tail light 
I'm gonna patch this trunk up to make it all clean again. This door, what happened with this door? Like the first thing that happened to this door, I punted one of them huge orange barriers during competition. I didn't see it and I just punted it way across, <laughs> like 20 feet away and that's all that the door took. I have gutted the doors because basically whenever, okay, whenever that door got crushed the first time, I had a passenger with me and I was watching it. Good, luckily enough, he was not looking outside because he was wearing my spare helmet, which did not have a visor and glass fully exploded all over him. So I said, screw it. I'm not dealing with that anymore. This isn't even so much for weight reduction as it is for like safety for people you know that don't have visors or just something happens and the window gets shattered i don't want someone to lose an eye because i got windows in my door so i just said screw it and took it out whenever i got at the doors i took out the wire harness and but i left the speakers in with the simple fact of i still got the radio it's all still you know good to go i just i don't want all that extra wiring like sitting inside the door and whatnot so I'm gonna uh, mess with all that to where I'll have the speakers still work, which is exactly what I want because I like listening to music whenever, you know, you're sitting in grid, you're doing whatever, you're not driving the whole time. Look at all this rubber that unfolded over from driving. Basically nothing really has changed. I still don't even have aftermarket intakes on the car. All I have is like uh, Y pipe back exhaust and that's really it. Uh, until this past week where I know this is like janky, but it works because this is a silicone hose, which is not good to have this going into. So that's why I did that. Uh, I installed nitrous on it. I don't have the bottle on the back right now because I got to get them filled. And the car is absolutely insane with nitrous. It is literally the most fun I've ever had while driving this thing. And it is just so powerful. Like all the, I say so powerful. It's from, for me, it's the most powerful thing I've ever driven in my life. Basically ever even ridden in, to be honest. And all the, like, the 400, 500, 600 horsepower plus cars that I just have never been able to keep up with in drift. Uh, well, I was able to, but it was, like, super hard. With nitrous, it is so good. I'm actually able to, you know, stay up with all of them. And it's insane. So much fun. So much fun. For the nitrous, I still have to wire in inline fuses, but basically how we have this is this is for to turn the nitrous on. This is the bottle heater, and then this is the purge. The purge actually, I didn't want to do like everyone else and have the purge coming up right here. I thought I'd do something kind of cooler. So I have the purge literally snaking around and coming out of the side fender right there. So it shoots out the side. And it's really cool in my opinion. But yeah, the car it still runs, you know, good as ever. Got my new tow rig. I don't know how much I'm gonna be drifting in the upcoming months because I'm trying to save and be responsible. But I still got a lot of work that needs to be done. Like I said, I got over fenders. I'm gonna repaint the car, do a little small, you know, livery of some sort. I don't know quite yet. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna get it figured out. And that is about it. Basically, just a little video, you know, saying where I've been, why I haven't been making videos, because I've been getting a decent amount of people asking me. And I want to. I do want to make videos. I just simply don't have the time to edit them. But like I said, I think I got that figured out, and we should hopefully be good for now. But that is it for this video. Uh, I'm going to hopefully be doing work to old Barney there pretty soon and have more content out for you guys. So I uh, will see you all in the next one. Peace.